Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to LPR Trading Group, where we look at level, pattern, and risk-to-reward as our key factors in making our game plan. I'm going to do a recap of my trade today. I had to leave early. Uh, I only had until about 9.50, so I was just watching the open. The only play I really thought had any potential was uh, F, forward. So forward, let's go to the daily here. We had this two-month or so consolidation phase and once we break out of this we had a nice rally and then yesterday we had a really nice rally i'm being huge volume you know 300 million shares it was a great day i traded this as well long and today when the day we opened up pre-market i was interested in, in a few levels so here we have yesterday's close blue line and then we have some other levels in here that we'll get into on the lower time frame so this is the five minute chart on forward and how I like to trade is finding supply and demand zones. When we're talking about our, a stock that's rallying like this, I like to get into the 5, 15 minute, 30 minute as well demand zones and see if we can find an entry off of those or a trap underneath those. And in this case, we did have a very nice opportunity for a long right in this area. Once we came into this nice demand zone that was created. So our demand zones are created off of this nice rally. We have another one here. And then we had this good consolidation. And finally, we broke out of that yesterday into the afternoon. So uh, there's a few things that I look at to play second day, third day stocks is where, where was my consolidation zone? So later in the day, yesterday, we just consolidated here. Okay, we're gapping down to the lows of this consolidation range, noted by this red dotted line. Then we have a demand zone here. This is absorbed. So we, we break out here, come back in, retest it. Our volumes are nice and steady above average volumes here. And then we get a nice rally to the upside. And I was looking at it for a target if I was looking short on forward this morning, which as soon as the open happened, I became short bias. You can tell that we opened up right at right just over 24, 24 06 about. We had a, a little rally, about a 15 second rally up to 2420, and then we immediately dropped down all the way down to 2450s. And the only way I can really show you this is on a 15 second chart. I don't have the time in sales or the or the tape running here. We just get into 15 second chart. I can show you why I became short bias on a break of 24. We had so the blue line here is our day break. So we open right at this, right here at this candle. These are 15 second candles once again. And we get this candle on very minimal volume. I'm not trading the 15 second candles, just so you know. I trade two minute and higher. However, I can you can just see it happening as it's occurring. We get this low volume right off the initial, but we get a big range on it. And then we get huge selling pressure right over this 2410 up to 2420 level. So you can see this this volume, this is 2 million volume in 15 seconds. So in this kind of a volume, the tape is printing heavy sell side, heavy sell side, and this immediately draws my attention and I'm looking for an entry. I got an entry starting at 24.06. I added again at 24.04 for the break of 24. And this thing drops so fast that I wasn't, I didn't have time to really move my orders. I took 10% off at 23.95. I took 10% off at 23.88, 23.84. And then I took 50% off of my position at 23.80, and the last of my position off right here at 23.70, which is the initiation of our demand zone that we had drawn out. Okay, so getting into the smaller time frame, we can actually see like what. Look at this volume and this kind of candle. That means there's people trying to trying to buy this thing, but somebody's here dumping heavy shares into this false breakout type scenario, and it's followed by. Uh, we go from 24.15 all the way down to 23.92. Uh, 
on this candle right here. I will get in and show you my executions. All right, let's go over these executions real quick here on forward. Like I said, it was a short day for me. I only had about 20, 25 minutes to trade this morning. Therefore, I was looking for momentum either way on forward. <clears throat> With analysis I did before here on what I saw right as the market opened. And now you can see my executions as we, we trade this. So I trade on DOS and I can't draw out demand zones like I can on, on trading view. So I have my, my line set up, right? This is my demand zone down here. This is my low of my consolidation up here. Area of interest, $24. And two minute chart, which I trade off of. I start my, my first short right here at, at 24.06, 24.08. And then I add at 2404, 2405. And like I said, it dropped so quickly that my orders were set in here. Luckily, I was able to place some 10%, 10 10%, 50%, and then the last of my shares right here at 2370s. This was a over a three hour trade. So therefore, if I'm risking, say, $100, uh, this is over a $300 trade. Say you're risking $50, this is a $150 plus trade on a very quick move. You know, within a minute, I was done for the day and, and went on my day to do the errands I had to do. So if I was going to be here for, for more time in the day, this is the trade that I really wanted to look for, which is a long off of this demand zone area. Okay, and this was a really nice trade here because we had uh, some consolidation inside this demand zone area, and then we break just below it break below it our volume when we break below it is above it's getting into average volume noted by this trend line on our, my volume here but then we put an inside candle in on indecision volume and then we break to the upside okay so this is a trade that i would have taken i i, I would have risked either low a day or just under this candle which is 2345 or 2340 and my entry is up here at 23 about 57 so I'm risking 11 to 15 cents, and my targets on this trade, I'm looking for a retest of 24. Uh, looking at yesterday's close, which is up here at 23, 24.30, and I'm looking for yesterday's high of days, which is up at 23.50s. Okay, so this is a huge, a very nice risk to reward trade. There's opportunities for ads. There's opportunities for ads here as well. When we come back, we break over 24. Come back in to 24 opening range prices. And important thing to notice when we come down on this pullback, what are our volumes like? Yeah, our volumes on these three candles, they're lower. You notice that? So we're having a low volume orderly pullback to an area of interest, 20 over $24 range, $24.10. And we get a big volume, nice breakout of that low volume pullback. Okay, so these are areas where we can look to add if you're that type of trader. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Please subscribe, hit that like button, get this channel growing. And stuff. Mm -hmm.